Today, we're going to look at the evolution of insulated glass units, or IGUs, an exciting new glass that's coming into the market. We've incorporated it into our sash windows. I have three IGU examples here to talk about. Glass is an incredibly technical product. It comes in many forms to control heat loss, solar gain, vision, safety, security. Today, I'm going to focus on thermal performance. The first IGU, furthest away from me, is a standard double glazed unit. It's used by most of the industry with two sheets of 4mm glass, one being an optional low iron formula to maximise the solar gain, and the other pane has a low emissivity coating on it to minimise the heat loss through the IGU. The IGU has a warm edge spacer bar around the perimeter holding the two panes of glass apart. A plastic composite material, again to minimise the heat loss, and a primary and secondary seal, perimeter seal, to keep the integrity of the IGU. In this case, there is a 16mm cavity between the two panes of glass. The cavity is filled with argon gas, a relatively inexpensive gas. As it happens, 16mm is the optimum thickness for either air or argon. Any more or less and the insulating properties start to drop away. The IGU has a U value, the measured heat loss of 1.2 watts per metre square Kelvin. 1.2 watts of energy for every square metre of product area for every degree temperature difference between the inside and the outside, which in the winter months could be 15 or 20 degrees. This temperature difference is referred to as the delta T. This second IGU is made in exactly the same manner as the first, but with a reduced cavity width, in this case 10 millimeters. So the insulating properties of this IGU would normally be less than the first, except in this case we have filled the cavity of, in the IGU with Krypton gas, a gas which has enhanced thermal properties but I'm afraid much, much more expensive. The optimum cavity size for Krypton gas is 10 millimetres, and therefore the U value of this IGU is 1.1 watts per metre square Kelvin. Now 0.1 of a watt doesn't sound like much of a difference between the two IGUs, but it's every square metre of glass of your property multiplied by the delta T, the temperature difference, which we've said could be up to approximately 15 or 20 degrees in the UK climate in the coldest weeks of the year. This last IGU here is our one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind moment in the glass industry. The IGU is made up of two sheets of glass, one 6mm thick, the other 4mm thick, with a similar low emissivity coating as the other two. The edge of this IGU does not have a spacer bar or any sealant, but instead is glass welded around the perimeter. In between the glass panes there is a 0.2 of a millimetre cavity, about the quarter of a thickness of a line from a biomo pen. There is no gas inside this cavity. In fact, there is nothing apart from some very small spacing dots. This IGU is a vacuum in between the glass and the small spacing dots are there to stop the glass from touching. As it is a vacuum, the only thing that can pass through from a heat point of view is long wave radiation, sunlight. Convection and conduction are eliminated with the exception of the perimeter weld and the very small spacing dots I mentioned. The U value of this glass is 0.7 watts per metre square Kelvin, about half a watt different to the first IGU, and is a significant giant leap forward in glass technology, which here at Masterframe we are incorporating to our range of SAS windows. It is possible to get a standard configured IGU to have these kinds of thermal performance, but it would have to be a triple glazed IGU with two panes of low emissivity glass and cavities of 10 mm for Krypton or 16 mm argon fill meaning that the overall glass thickness would need to be between 32 and 44 millimetres thick, larger than most windows can accommodate, or else the slim cavity widths would negate any benefit of a third pane of glass. I'm afraid it's the case that bigger is not always better, and certainly with Finio glass being only 10 millimetres, looking like a traditional old single glass, it's the case that less is more, and it's perfectly suited for the historic properties and those in conservation areas. In addition to this thermal enhancement, this new glass has improved light transmission, improved sound attenuation, again sound cannot travel through a vacuum, and is more environmentally friendly as it eliminates the use of polysulfide and polyurethane sealants, and is 100% recyclable. Although you need to wait some time before attempting this last point, as the Finio vacuum insulated glass is more robust than the other standard IGU, and has a 15 year guarantee as standard. I hope you found this introduction to glass helpful, and I'm sure you have many more questions that you would like to be answered. 
our team here at Marshall will be more than happy to assist in any aspect of replacing your sash windows. Thank you for listening.